So the tools you're going to need to remove your door panel, uh, I like to use these plastic little pry bars. Uh, you're going to need a needle nose to unclip your uh, door handle cable. Uh, a little screwdriver here to do some various things. And then you're going to need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so first thing you do to remove your door panel is you remove the trim piece, the gray trim piece. All you got to do is start prying on the bottom side and it will pop right off. So next thing is the door handle itself. Uh, there's two bolts, top and bottom on that. 10 millimeter socket. So then behind the, the handle, there's a little cover. This is the cover. This is the back side. It kind of snaps on. So you want to kind of pry on it off to the sides. There is another 10 millimeter bolt behind this cover. Next thing is the door lock, the manual lock mechanism. And there is, is a little tab you got to pull out or pry out. I found that uh, prying out from the sides worked the best. Need a little screwdriver to do that. And then you can just uh, pull it up out of the door panel. There's a cover for the mirror and it just snaps off. Started from the top side, worked my way down. There's three clips on this piece in the back. So up next is the switch bank. And you just put a, um, a pry tool in there and pop it off. It just has a few clips in the back here that hold it on. Uh, most of the plugs are normal GM plugs where you just kind of push down and pop them out. Uh, there is one on the side, or actually it's towards the back of the switch, that is a little bit of a pain. It's got a little bit different kind of a, kind of a clip. You got to pry it off it instead of push it down. And then uh, you got to work your way and pull it off. So next you have this panel right here that is behind the, the main handle of the door. Uh, you can see it just uh, snaps in with a couple of clips there. Uh, I started actually prying on the bottom side and kind of worked my way around and it popped right off.
There are two 10 millimeter bolts behind this cover that you need to take off. Then you get to remove the door panel with all your bolts and everything unbolted. There are clips all around the door panel on the bottom side here. All the way around the edge. I just started on the front side and worked my way down around the panel. Uh, you can use a little plastic pry bar like I used to help me get it out. So once I got the door panel popped off, I realized there was another uh, wire right in this hole right here. And I had to push that uh, little uh, holder down and I had to get it off the panel to be able to get it away from the truck. So once your panel is popped away from the, the truck and you've got all your wires unhooked, you're going to have to deal with, with the, the latch. And it has a wire going to it or a cable. And this cable is attached to the, the plastic deal right here. First off, you're going to squeeze the clips on this cable and you're going to pop it out of the out of the hole or the mount on this handle then you're going to rotate it up out of there and then you're going to bring it up out of the the ball out of the the socket you can see it's uh it's just a hole with a little bit of notch so the cable can go through also your cable is going to be connected to this piece which is supposed to be inside here but this candle's broken but your cable, the little ball end, is going to be right in here. And you can see you're going to have to rotate it and pull it out. Now on my door panel, my cable was broken. So I didn't have to undo the ball because it was, it was long gone somewhere else. You will have to remove this piece. It is in here like this. Okay? So you can see you've got to squeeze those two pieces down with a needle nose and you'll be able to pull this out. Now because I have to replace this cable too, uh, there is one retainer right here that is pushed into the door panel. You got to pull that out, pry it out. This, is, this one broke. And then on this end it goes into the door latch itself and again it's that same type of deal where you push these down and you have to pull it out. Now this is much more difficult because you have to go inside the door and there's really no room at all. I hardly can see. I can't really even show it to you on camera because it's just really hard to get in there. And then again this ball right here actually goes on to the latch itself. There's a little there's a little uh, groove that that falls into and then you got to and you can pull that out once that's unhooked. 
I got a new one of these coming. I had to order it uh, around $40, I believe, from Dorman. So another thing you're probably going to have to do if your handle is broken is you're going to have to take this handle off so you can get this piece because this piece is normally attached to this piece in here. But like I said, this is broken pretty bad and it all fell out. But this piece right here sticks through the door panel and then it is slid onto here. So you can see on this piece right here, there's a little notch right there. Right here, there's a notch. That is for, you can see there's a little button type deal in there. And to get this off, you actually have to pry this piece off. You gotta pry that off. You gotta pull that piece out and then you can see the pin, this little pin falls out too. And then you'll be able to pull your, your handle off your mechanism. Okay guys, so if your handle isn't broken as badly as mine, uh, these pieces will not be separate. This piece here is inside here in this, in this plastic piece. And you see this is broke out and this is where this piece is held in. There's also a spring inside here. So this is how this piece sits in there like that. Okay, and it sticks out right here and there's a clip right there that you're gonna have to pull out to be able to separate these two pieces. So this is what comes with the Dorman kit. Uh, you've got a drill bit here. This drills out the plastic rivets that holds the, the handle in place. You've got new washers and little screws to replace the plastic rivets. Also get a instruction uh, little manual here to, to help you out. You get the handle itself or the mechanism for the handle. And it looks just like the, the factory piece. And then you also get a new door handle. Uh, it's already assembled. It's got the pin in there, it's got the clip in there, and it's got the little foam piece all ready to be pushed in. I've heard people have a little trouble getting this in. The, spr the spring here might be stiff or something. Or you could reuse your old handle if it ain't broken. So like I said before, this handle is held in by six plastic rivets onto the door panel. Uh, they usually, if you go to GM, they'll recommend you replace the whole panel uh, once you break your, your door handle. But there's a lot of kits out there for around uh, $30 or $40 or something that uh, replaces this, this uh, handle. Now, these plastic rivets need to be drilled out. Uh, they send, like I said, they send you a drill bit. You gotta uh, supply your own drill, but they have a bit here that will actually drill out these, these plastic rivets. Now, one thing you're gonna note is you gotta be really careful how deep you go with this. You just want these cut off just enough to be able to get this handle off, because if you drill too much out, you've got nothing for the little screws that they give you in the kit to go into to bite on. Um, there is another mounting bolt that does hold this, this handle. Uh, one of the main mounting bolts that holds the door panel in place. So it's not just plastic rivets that hold this on. There is one mounting bolt. But anyway, I'm going to drill these out here. Like I said, just enough to get this handle off.
Like I said, just enough to get this off. You want to leave enough room so your screws can bite into there. Okay guys, so next I got my, my new handle here. Make sure it's uh, cleaned out. And I'm going to set my door handle in place. Make sure it's fitting. Make sure it's fitting all the way down. I'm having trouble right here because my drill bit didn't do a very good job right here on cleaning that off. So there it is on there. Now you take a washer, you stick it on there, then you take one of these screws and you're going to screw it down in. Now this is uh, plastic so we're not going crazy with it. And if you have the super glue, you're going to dab it. You dab it on the threads is what you're going to do. Like I said, this kit didn't come with the super glue. So I'm going to try it without it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything works out here. That one there ain't holding very good. And these two front ones were broken when I got in here. So there's not a whole lot left of them. Hopefully we're going to hold this good enough and then with this other mount right here that actually bolts into the door uh, we're going to have a good enough a good enough mount here. Now to reinstall this handle you're going to put your pin back in you're going to put your clip back in and you can see it's like it's spring loaded here. That is so when you slide it back onto the shaft right here this mechanism it's gonna see it's gonna ride up on that angle and then it's gonna lock into the notch so once you get your clip in there and your your little your pin deal I'm gonna do this off the truck but you're gonna you're gonna put it together and like I said it's gonna snap in and you see it, it snaps in there and that's how it's held in place. So once your new handle is installed with the screws and washers, uh, you're pretty much ready to install this door panel. I had to do a little more work. I had to install a new cable for the, for the handle. I'm waiting on that. But uh, this is ready to go back on guys, just the same way uh, you pulled it off. And just be careful with all these plastic parts. Make sure your clips are, are lined up before you uh, push them in. Okay, I got my new cable here. It's in the package yet. Just check the length to make sure it was okay. It is a doorman. There's the part number. You got to be careful when you order a new cable, guys, because uh, power windows and locks uh, is different than the non-power windows and locks, I think. So uh, just, you know, be aware what you have. Order the right one. The other one they had there was shorter. That's for the, the non-power windows and locks. So this one here is the right length. It's got everything the same except for uh, this end is a different color, but uh, color isn't going to matter. So I got to get this installed before I can put my door panel back on and uh, we'll start reassembly. Okay guys, so to replace this cable you're going to need to get inside the door panel and to do that you got to pull this 
uh, insulation back and you're gonna go into there like I said I cannot show you I can't get a camera in there or anything I barely can see it myself so I got my cable in there got the little clip right here attaching it to the, the inside of the door run it down through there again you're just gonna have to look in there uh, use this little pick tool to, uh, first I snapped it into the hole the mounting hole then I run the, the little ball up over the, the latch and then like I said it runs down through here comes out right here and everything's working out good next thing I get my door panel back up in here we'll get this hooked back up and snap the door panel back on okay so the first thing I got to do is hook up my my door handle I got to get that cable in the ball I'm getting ready to put this uh, door panel back on and uh, I'm not going to be able to show you how to put the, the cable, this cable back on with, with the door panel in the way. There's no way to get a camera in there. So I'm just going to show you how to do it right here. You got this ball end right here on the cable. Now that's going to go into the deal like that. You're going to pull it outward. You're going to rotate this in like that. And then you're going to push that into the hole on the side of this deal. I haven't pushed it in all the way because I don't want to lock it yet. But that's how you're going to install this uh, cable back onto the handle. Once you get that cable hooked up, you get your wires kind of routed out here. Start getting your door panel back into place. Starting with the top and work your way down. Once you feel everything's lined up, you can start setting the start setting all those plastic clips in place. Once you get the, the panel snapped into place, it's just a matter of reinstalling all your stuff, your switches, your your bolts, there's only three bolts, and uh, your mirror cover, mirror mount cover. Okay, so the final thing to do is to install the, the handle. We're just going to push it onto the shaft. Everything's installed, the pin and everything, so it should just slide on and then snap on. Kind of just wiggling it on here, trying to get it to, to snap on. Okay, so one final thing I'm struggling with here is this door handle, trying to get this door handle back onto the the shaft. You see the pins popped out, but it won't. 
I'm trying to be easy on it. I don't want to push too hard because all this stuff is plastic. Uh, if I would have known it was going to be that difficult to get this on, I would have put it on before I installed the door panel. That way I could have supported it from behind as I pushed it onto the shaft. So you might want to think about that, guys. You should have enough room to get access to this cover and everything. But um, yeah, I wish I would have installed this before I, I put the panel back on. I'm going to keep struggling trying to push this on without breaking it. Hopefully I'm going to get there. Okay, so I finally got that on. I actually reused my old handle so it would kind of match better. But um, I don't know. The handle feels a tad loose. I don't, I don't know what the original one felt like, but it feels like it's a tad loose. But um, it is what it is. It seems to function okay. We got a little bit of damage on the door panel. Whoever broke this put a good amount of downforce and messed that up. I got to try to do some sanding and, and fix that. But um, I guess the next thing to do is uh, test her out, make sure she's working. So everything appears to be functioning correctly. Doors opening up just fine. Everything sounds okay in the door panel. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a job. Dad's going to be happy. He's going to be able to open his door again. But I hope this uh, video helps some people out there get their uh, handles replaced or their panels off or cable replaced. I guess I'll see you guys.